Hello, everyone. So the question is, two registers of equal resistance value, they are arranged in series. Later, they are arranged in parallel for the same battery. That means the potential difference is constant. And it, which of the following combination, more heat will be produced? That is a question. So how will you solve this question? So let's begin by the series and parallel combination. So in the series combination, the resistors are arranged in this manner. There's a battery, correct? There's a R and R, there's a voltage. In parallel, it will look like this. The resistors are in, in parallel, R and R, there's a voltage. For these combinations, we can find out the equivalent resistance. For the series, equivalent resistance is given by Rs, which is equal to R1 plus R2. That is R plus R, which is two times R. And for the parallel combination, we know the formula 1 by Rp is given by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. So this is equal to 2 by R. This is 1 by Rp. So Rp will be equal to R divided by 2. For the series combination, the equivalent resistance increases. For the parallel combination, equivalent resistance reduces. Okay. So let's find out the heat produced. So from the Joule's law of heating, I can write heat produced will be given by I square R T. And from the Ohm's law, I can write I will be equal to V by R. So if I substitute this in the Joule's law equation, I can get H will be equal to instead of I, V by R whole square multiplied by R times T. So H will be given as V square by R times T. So in the question, it was said that the battery is same. That means the potential difference or the voltage is constant. What else is constant? The time. Time is also constant. So V and T, both of them are constants. So because of that, I can rewrite this equation as 1 by R multiplied by V square times T. So V square times T, that is in the bracket, which is constant. So this equation, we can write it as H is inversely proportional to the resistance. Okay. And do you remember what was the effective resistance or the equivalent resistance for the series and parallel combination? For series, equivalent resistance was 2R. For the parallel, equivalent resistance was given as R by 2. So if you want more heat, more heat, we need less resistance. And in which combination has a lesser resistance? It is the parallel combination. So in parallel combination, more heat will be produced. So there is a right answer. All right. That's it for today.